back to my channel. This is Laura. Today what we are going to be making are some cream raspberry filled donuts. Mmm, doesn't that sound delicious? And believe me, they are delicious. I will have the recipe and everything that I use listed in the description box. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back with you. If you are new here to my channel and are enjoying the content, I sure hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that little notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you are a regular here, thanks for spending time with me today. I know you have lots and lots of options and I appreciate you. So let's go ahead and jump on into this video. Okay, here we go with this recipe. I like to have everything set up for my recipe so that I don't forget anything because I'm always doing stuff and I forget and you know how that goes. So in the bowl to the mixer, the stand mixer, I already have my flour and I will have the recipe listed below. I'm gonna add my salt, my yeast, my sugar, and I'm quickly gonna mix this so that the yeast doesn't stay on top of the salt because that will kill your yeast. Very easy recipe, don't be scared of it. I think this is the easiest one. Okay, we have that. We're gonna add in our melted butter that's been cooled. Make sure it's not piping hot because that will kill your yeast. We have our eggs, two eggs, and our milk that I warmed up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and that's it we're gonna pop it on to the stand mixer okay we're gonna pop it on with a dough hook we're gonna start it off slow so that everything can incorporate nicely and here we go okay once the dough comes together we are going to leave this on the dough hook and leave the machine running on medium to high. You're going to need to let this go anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. It seems like a lot, but believe me, just set it aside and watch it every couple of minutes and you're wait till that point. We're going to get a real nice texture to the dough and I will show you that after it's done. So I will be back after this has been on the mixer for that amount of time. Okay, this has been on there for a good while. I tested it a while ago. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I look for. Let me pull this out of here. And that should pop right off. See, this is what we're looking for. When you pull it, I hope you can see. You pull it and it doesn't rip where you can almost see right through it. We call that the window pane effect, okay? So that's what you're looking for right there. See how you can almost see right through it? Okay, so we're just gonna turn this into a little ball. And today's a pretty cold day. We're gonna take our bowl. I'm gonna spray it completely so that it doesn't stick when we put it to rise. Okay, I'm gonna give it a turn. Make sure it's all greased up so that it doesn't stick to the plastic. Okay, I'm gonna cover it. Like this, nice and tight. And then I take a big towel and wrap it around. Put it in the microwave. The microwave is off, of course, and let it double in size. It's going to take about an hour, hour and a half. It depends on the temperature in your home, where you're at. Mine takes about, about an hour and 15 minutes more or less, but just check it. So I will see you back at that point. I wanted to interrupt the video for just a second. I wanted to say for all the people who always give my videos a thumbs up and leave comments, I wanted to give you a special thank you. I want you to know that that really helps out my channel. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Alrighty, we are back. It is a couple of hours later. And look at that, how beautiful that looks. Let me get this out of the way. We're gonna need it again in a few minutes. We're gonna take our dough and we're just gonna punch the air out of it. Take it out. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour on the counter here. 
and I'm gonna start to roll this out. Now you have a couple of options to make your donuts. If you don't have uh, some donut cutters, this is a traditional donut cutter, but since we're making filled, you don't want the one with the hole in it. So what I do is I get some biscuit cutters and they come in different sizes like this, you know, just different sizes. You pick whatever size donut you want. I like to make my donuts on the smaller side. So I pick the medium one here. So I'm gonna get rid of these, put these aside, because we're not gonna need them anymore. And I'm just gonna concentrate on this one, put it into the flour, and we're gonna roll this out. Sprinkle just a little bit of flour. We're gonna roll this out. Now the other option you have is if you don't have a biscuit cutter, you can just make the donuts square. Nobody says they have to be round. So we're gonna roll this out so that we can start cutting them. And if you decide to make them square, there's less waste on the dough. We're gonna get this to about a half an inch thickness. And then we're just gonna cut them out with our cutter. I have my cookie sheets here with the parchment paper. Very important to have because if you lay them right on the cookie sheet, you will not be able to peel them off when it's time to start to fry them, okay? So remember that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start cutting the donuts. I try to get as close as I can. And see, they're gonna be this size. But of course, they are gonna proof again, so they will be larger. I need to hurry up before the dough starts to stick. With the rest of the dough, what we're going to do is we're going to try to put it back together. And what you need to do, you can't roll it out right away. You need to let it sit for about 30 minutes again and let the gluten relax. And then we can cut out some more. Okay, so we're going to let this be. I'm gonna cover this again, let this relax, and we will continue with this one again. For now, what we are gonna do with these is we're gonna cover them, we're gonna let them proof one more time, okay? And then we will fry them up. So keep them in a warm spot, and we will be back. All right, I let this sit, the remainder of the dough that we had that we used, I'm gonna sprinkle the bottom here. I let this sit for about another hour, okay? It's, this is, gets very tricky, the dough. If you don't let it sit, it'll start to spring back on you. See how it kind of wants to spring back on me now? So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna roll it just to a certain thickness. I'm gonna try to shape this into a rectangle so we can just cut them into little squares. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. I shape this the best I can. And then we just get a very sharp knife or your bench scraper and cut it into three sections, just like that. Try to make them even. If they're not even, that's okay. No biggie. Okay, and then we're just gonna put them on our tray. We're gonna let these rise. If they don't look square, that's okay, guys. Believe me, you will love them anyway. Nothing has to be perfect, you know? This is not a professional kitchen. Very few of us are professionals. You just make the best out of your dough. Use up every bit of it. That's what I believe. No waste. We're gonna let these proof while we're waiting for the other ones and we'll start frying the other ones. Okay, everybody, we're ready to fry up our donuts. This is what they look like after they have been proofing over here i have my cast iron skillet with about two inches of oil i'm waiting for this to reach the temperature that we need which is about 350. as soon as we get this to temperature we are going to get started so we're just going to place them in the skillet try not to squeeze them too hard as you're picking them up so they don't deflate i'm just going to put four so that you can see how easy they fry up. See how the oil is bubbling real nice right now? When it starts to slow down, 
as the bottom portion of this fries up. And then you know that it's gonna be time to flip it over. And this goes pretty quick, so it takes about maybe 60 seconds per side. to use my little uh, spider that y'all see me using all the time to flip them so that I don't splash see how nice color that is and then they'll start bubbling again on this side and then they slow down when it's time to take them out see how it starts slowing down Let me check it Ready to go. See how fast that was? That's why you need to have your temperature at 350. And this way it gives it enough time for the donut to cook on the inside. And I'm just gonna keep going. the ones that we cut into little you know odd shaped pieces I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in okay we're gonna turn this off and here we go with the full tray of donuts that we're gonna stuff here in a minute so we're gonna let these set to cool off and I will transfer you back over we're gonna make the cream the raspberry cream filling for this you could use a hand mixer if you have if you have one I can't find mine right now, so I'm going to use the stand mixer. So we're going to add in our very cold, heavy whipping cream. And we're going to start to beat this at high speed until it starts to froth up. And then we're going to add in some powdered sugar. Sugar's getting incorporated and keep going. We want some stiff peaks in here. Okay, we're done with this. Okay, here we go. I have another, uh, an extra little bowl. I have my raspberry preserve. You can use whatever flavor you want. If you don't want to use raspberry, use whatever you like. We're going to add about half of this jar in here. Yeah, half should do, I think. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the cream that we just whipped up so that we can loosen up the preserve because we're going to mix it into the heavy cream. Yeah, how pretty that starts to look already. Okay, and then we're going to fold it into our bowl or vice versa, whatever, however you want to do it. I just like to loosen this up real nice so that I don't have to deflate my cream over here, my whipped cream. Okay, here we go. And then you just start to fold this in. It's going to be nice and creamy. that's it. I'm going to give this a taste. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I have a piping tip here that, that's used primarily for filling donuts. And I have it in a small piping bag. You can use a regular piping tip if you don't have one of these. It's not a big deal. I just like the simplicity of it. So I put it over the glass so that I can scoop it in there. I'm going to set this aside. Actually, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and we're going to prepare our glaze for the top of the donut. You don't have to glaze them. You can add powdered sugar 
if you prefer. I actually like the glaze on the jelly filled donuts. I think they're just scrumptious. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. All right, now for the glaze, I have my powdered sugar, a little tiny pinch of salt, and a little bit of vanilla. If you wanna use the clear vanilla so that it doesn't tint your glaze, you can do that. A little bit of uh, half and half or milk, whatever you decide to use. Go a little bit at a time because you don't want this too, too runny. Okay, let's start filling our donuts. Okay, here we go filling the donuts. Just put a tight squeeze on the back. What you do is you insert the tip as far as you can go. And you can feel it filling it up. Okay guys, I had to add a cobbler to the tip because the tip just kept sliding on me. I think the bag is just too small. But same thing, I will leave those links below for you. I put it back in and you can actually feel the little donut poofing out. So as soon as you feel it, you want to stop. And it pushes back on its own like that. The last step would be to glaze them if you want them glazed or you can powder them with some powdered sugar whatever you like so I just take my my donut I just do the top of it just like that if the donut cracked like that because of too much filling that's okay guys it's no big deal believe me they're still gonna taste very good here are the little square ones Delicious as well. Nothing wrong with them. All right, I'm gonna show you how I dust the, the ones with the powdered sugar. Instead of sprinkling them on top, I just get my donut and pound it down like that. That's all you need. guys that's it all right let me clean this up and i'll be right back to show you the donuts all righty that concludes the video i put my donuts on a tray somebody's already gotten into them i wonder who that was and we're gonna go ahead and give them a taste they are so good now i always like to leave a little bit of raspberry on the edges when i pipe it in so in case i ever make another flavor everybody knows what they're getting you don't have to cut into them so let's give this little guy a taste Another thing I will mention before we bite into it, you see how small I like to make my donuts? This way, if you wanna try a variety, you have room to eat different kinds of donuts. Like, mmm, mmm. Look at that, guys. Mmm. They're so spongy. Mmm. So full of flavor. You can taste that cream. I mean, it's just delicious. Not overly sweet, believe it or not. And the reason they're not overly sweet is because the dough doesn't have a whole lot of sugar. So anything that you add to the inside and the top kind of neutralizes everything when you take that bite. They're good, guys. I hope you give it a try. Mm -hmm. Let's take another bite. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, these are just too good. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble today. I'm going to have to go and give some of these to the neighbors for sure. These are so good. I hope you give them a try. That's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, thumbs up. Leave a comment that really helps out the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm.